Hey, hey, hey. It's time to have a conversation, Blurds. It's, it's, it's time for some Blurred talk because um, the Penguin is out and it's uh, getting some good reviews out here in these streets. I don't know about y'all, but uh, I, I've been hearing some good things about this show. I enjoyed it. And if y'all don't know about me, I'm a big Batman fan. So I'm going to watch anything Batman related regardless. Now, I did not watch Batwoman because I don't feel like that was Batman related. And I ain't good about it. <laughs> Batgirl, whatever. I ain't watched that. Everything else though. <laughs> if it got Bruce, if it if it got anything to do with Bruce Wayne, Gotham City, that whole thing, I'ma be there. That's that's just me, okay? I be defending Batman like I'm a part of uh Wayne Enterprises payroll, and I'm not. <laughs> but uh, the way that I defend him, I act like I am. So <laughs> The Penguin aired last week, uh, season one, episode one, although I do think this might be a limited series. The next episode two, I think, comes out on a Sunday. Now, I don't know why they aired one episode on like, what, a Wednesday or a Thursday, and then it's coming back. They skip like this week here, and then it's coming back next Sunday. I don't know what they're doing with the schedule, but you know, that's neither here nor there. So before we get started on it, uh, here with a fellow Blurred, okay, Charles. And uh, uh, somebody who actually is very well versed in this as he is uh, very knowledgeable about the comic book. So he got the inside story on the penguin. So I'm like, we got to talk about this with somebody who really, really know what's going on. Because the way my ADHD <laughs> was set up, it was a lot going on. And then I was going in and out. I was in there, I, but I'm in there. But it would help to have somebody who actually know what the hell is going on. Charles, first thoughts about this episode? Uh, man, the subversion was the, it just got me in the beginning. Like, it did the whole recap with, uh, you know, the movie, which I was kind of a fan of the movie. It was all right, but, like, I I don't really like the more grounded Batman stories. I'm more into the fantastical. So, you know, it did the Robert Patterson uh, mm -hmm. Batman movie and whatnot, and it was more like the Christopher Nolan, you know, the Christian Bale era, where he's more realistic. You know, he's more of a detective. Well, this time he was more of a detective than ever before, but he's more of a detective. It's more of a, 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 a crime yeah. procedural mm -hmm. type of thing, more so than like a superhero mm -hmm. thing or whatnot. But the, the show gave me like cool vibes because, you know, uh, uh, when Alberto took over Falcone, uh well Falcone or Falcone, however you want to say it. Um when he took over, I'm thinking like, okay, it's gonna be about the penguin subverting him. He's a drug addict and you know the penguin's manipulative. And I'm thinking, yo, he's gonna subvert this dude and take over the Empire from the inside. And then within the first five minutes he shoots homie like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was it was it was a, a surprise. It was a lot of subversion. I, I really dug that. That was cool. Um, but uh, when I first saw it, I was thinking it was gonna pull from like the Frank Miller Batman type of uh vibe or whatnot. But the more I watched and the more characters that they like introduced, like Sophia and whatnot, it's like this is like the long Halloween, it's it's, it's multiple Batman stories that they're pulling from, mm. you know. And like they, they even refer to her like hanging people or whatever. Like when she showed up, like she's crazy. She hangs people, whatever, kind of like a serial killer, but her motif is hanging. And that's directly from the comics. She was hanging cops. She was hanging Gotham cops in the comics. So, like, um, I don't know. It's like I feel like they're leaning towards the fantastical, but it's still grounded. But like, I'm I'm waiting to see what this end game is gonna be with this new shipment of like drugs they're talking about. Because that is going to determine whether or not we're leaning towards the the more fantastical, the more uh, you know, comic book level of, of, of stuff in this in this uh, series. I whoever is on uh, cinematography are do, is doing their thing. That opening shot where we're looking at Penguin from behind and he's standing there, and and we're getting like you know the push in, and then he you know he. Yeah. He gives us that look back. Like they're they're doing good with with these angles and stuff here. Uh, sometimes one thing I didn't like was good. when uh, the mayor, or whatever, it was the, in the woman, the female, the black lady, she's a mayor, right? Mm -hmm. When she was talking, they had that obvious green screen, 
Gotham, like destroyed area of Gotham behind her. That was that was trash. <laughs> And I need a few more. I mean, need a few more minutes of her too. I I, I, I kind of needed uh, us to 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 you know let let us see her. I mean, you know, the, her her city raggedy, but we could talk to her for a little bit longer. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Especially when she was such a big part of the movie, but she was the target in the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. But they they they're definitely gonna bring her back. You know, I'm pretty yeah. sure we're gonna see the the lineage. She's probably gonna die or something. <laughs> Now why you got to go there? Why you got to go there? Oh, uh, before we get started on the episode, it takes place literally right at the end of the Batman, the one with Robert Pattinson in it. So it's just like you could literally watch these back to back. Oh, yeah. Um, so it, and it takes you, which I, I like that, that there wasn't a time pass or a time lapse and they got to like five years later or six months later. No, it's just like this just happened. So uh, uh, Mr. Cobblepot is fresh off of uh, what just occurred. How did you feel about this opening? Oh, it was dope. I mean, the the recap was good for me because I I did kind of like forget the movie a little bit. But um, I just like how uh, Gotham is a living thing here because after the Riddler's plan or whatnot, you know, his his whole thing was to like uh, subvert the wealthy and and you know attack gotham from within but he ended up just hurting the poor and that's typically you know how those things go when when you have a terrorist you know with their big elaborate plans to hurt the people at the top you know it it, it always trickles down or it always starts from the bottom first anyway you know and and with um gotham's like their whole recovery thing like could you imagine a city the size of like new york and a big chunk of it is just flooded. So, like, that just kills commerce. It kills jobs. You know, like, entire neighborhoods destroyed. Like, that is a comic book setting. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I really, I really dug that. That, that you know, they didn't have a time lapse where it's like, oh, Gotham has recovered. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we're about to witness the recovery of Gotham while the penguin makes his rise you know what i'm saying so it's like i i, I dig that okay okay what do you think is going on with batman what, what do you think is you think he's gonna <laughs> appear in no. the, the 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 season or are they just gonna wait and put him in another movie are we gonna hear some some updates can we get a can we get a glimpse at robert penson i don't what know do you, if he's gonna, gonna be gonna happen? I don't know if he's gonna be in it you know the uh the, the Toro, uh john Totoro, he played uh falcone and he's not in the series. They have a they have a double. They have a, like a, a different actor playing him or whatnot. So mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure Robert Pattinson is probably above their pay grade. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's, that's crazy to say. Robert Colin ain't over Farrell, there doing that. He ain't I mean, Colin Farrell is that dude though. Like he, oh, no. Robert ain't actor. over there doing that. <laughs> it's like you know they they got him. They could get Robert ass. You know what I'm saying? But. But you know, I, I really think that uh we're gonna we're gonna hear about Bruce Wayne more than anything. It's like the city's trying to recover, he's the wealthiest man there is. You know, of course, he's gonna have foundations and stuff like that to, to help uh co- uh recover the city. There's actually a story um from one of the older comments where he it, it, it's some kind of Gotham fund or whatever they're like the mob is funneling money through or, or whatnot, and he finds out that like they're taking you know the money for like some kind of relief effort i think in that was it was like a blizzard or something in gotham that shut the whole city down and he ended up stepping in personally and actually funding the recovery of gotham i think that's gonna happen like you know at some point in the series we, we'll hear about that probably via newscast or some shit like that but i doubt we see batman which is cool with me because uh they, they keep having these Batman spinoff shows that lead up to revealing Batman. And it's like, can we just, I mean, Gotham is a living, breathing thing by itself without, with or without Batman. There's so many stories to tell in Gotham. We don't need, you know, Yeah, Batman. we do. Yeah, we, we do. We need to come in there. Come on, Cat Crusader. <laughs> come in there. Stand in there one time. One, one, one time. Show your foot in there. Turn, do, have, show you from behind like they had the penguin with the oh tape going in the end. <laughs> you just need to know that your presence is felt, okay? The villains need to know that they can't be doing all these crimes because Batman is around the corner. See, when he ain't around, they be having a free-for-all. 
Uh, nah, like it's the all but uh copper pot well it's his it's cobbs eyes cob now um <laughs> i don't think he fears batman well at least not not yet you know what i'm saying like he they had some nice banter in the in, in the movie but i don't think he has that that batman fear factor yet now batman beat his ass a couple of times man. <laughs> it ain't never too late <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I was saying about Alberto, yo. Like they really set that up well, cause I mean the the whole like uh, prologue was about him taking over, you know. Mm -hmm. And then okay, like, him on the camera talking about like, like how you talk about somebody taking over the the drug game on national TV. Well, <laughs> they show on the news. Cause they know <laughs> Gotham know they corrupt. <laughs> Gotham know everything is corrupt in Gotham. They, they, they don't need to even lie about it. <laughs> Like we really just gonna pronounce him the, the 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 kingpin of the streets at this point. If y'all know I mean, that he's the, the the head honcho, go arrest him right now. If y'all nah, know he about to take over the mob right now, and y'all putting it on the news, why why we why the cops ain't sitting outside? We just man, letting everybody uh, know. Man, so y'all know. Who, I just need y'all to know who gonna be running the streets from now. Cops is owned. Cops is owned <laughs> by this family. You know what I'm saying? Between them and the more uh, the what do they call the Maronis or whatever the hell they own the police. <laughs> we ain't got we ain't got Commissioner Gordon yet. He just a detective, ain't he, or something like that. He's not commissioner yet. Right. Uh, yeah. Because because I'm just like that's uh, I was like that's that's wild that we just talk about this on the news and ain't nobody yeah, doing nothing. Wild. We just I, I'm I mean, like just they do that in real life. They do that in real <laughs> life, you know. Uh, Freaking, what's what's buddy name? El Chapo, the the drug kingpin. He he was in the Forbes magazine, like <laughs> nasty work. <laughs> <laughs> now my guy Vic here. I didn't know I would like Vic, but I like Vic, and I'm rooting for him. Not Vic you know, I, I'm rooting for him to have a good villain origin story. Like I need him to be the best villain he can be. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know uh, how far he's gonna go in the story. I don't know, cause like it, it'll be a great setup to have Vic and Punish Punisher, Vic and Penguin do their thing, top of the mob, and then right at the end, Penguin backstabs them. Like, yo, that's so Penguin. <laughs> yeah, cause apparently the only person that he truly really cares about is the mom. Yeah, that's, that's a running thing with him. How do you feel about Vic? Are you are you here for Vic? Uh, I don't like. I don't know. I don't, I think he's an original character. Uh, I know folks were saying like Victor Freeze is like, nah, hell no, nah, this ain't Victor Freeze. <laughs> yeah, it's but, also the other guy, the Victor. Is it? Uh, how do you say it? Victor Zaz. 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 The yeah. the cutting dude, I forgot about him. It is two victors. I don't two know. Victors. I, I mean, okay. The one that got them tally marks all over his skin. Now, if we start seeing Vic cutting himself, we gonna know I mean, that it's gonna be so that. Like one. when when he he did this drive in like some crazy detail about cutting dude body up. He was like he wanted to start from here, but then he realized oh. The carotid arteries and shit was in the way, <laughs> like and stuff like that. He has some intimate knowledge of like the human anatomy, but I still doubt they go that direction because that would be dark. That would be super dark. He starts out from a, a kid just trying to survive after the flood, you know, stealing a monster's, head, a monster's rims <laughs> to I freaking a that. serial killer, like. <laughs> I would like to see him be Mr. Freeze, though. Like, that's me personally. Like, if we're going to be any villain, like, let's let's go back now. Let's yeah. just go all the way in. But like you said, they be trying to be dark with this Batman. And, you know, it, they might want to make him more Mr. Slasher guy. Other than, did, like you said, in the fantastical freeze. part of it. And we give him Mr. Freeze. Okay, if we're going to go into that realm, let, let's go ahead and get Mr. Freeze. You know, all right, everyone. Chill. <laughs> I mean, like, they... <laughs> there's there's rumors that Freeze will be the next villain in the uh, next movie, uh, for this universe, which would be weird as hell because like he he really don't fit like the the realism. But I mean, again, we got we got to see what this series is come going because the series is definitely 
it's giving me vibes of like they're they are grounded, but they are pulling from the comments. Like I can tell, like it's it's a little bit of a love letter in here for the people that want to see like the more fantastical aspects of Batman and Gotham and shit like that. Cause yeah, that uh the Batman was a was a bit dark. But you know, some people some people didn't like the 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 sillier movies of Batman back in the day. Like what was it Batman Forever and Batman? Oh, and, I didn't I didn't like them. Uh, yeah, a lot of people didn't like those. I don't care. I watched them. I Batman. like I like the Tim Burton Batman, like uh uh Michael Keaton Batman part one and two. I like mm -hmm. those. Mm -hmm. Everything after that, like Val Kilmer's Batman was all right. Everything after that, man, I couldn't get. <laughs> I I accept all Batman's. Except, oh my god! Except for except you, Adam Affleck. West over here. Except Damn. except Ben Affleck. I, I don't know his Batman. What's is, wrong? What's wrong with just what's wrong with Ben Affleck's Batman? I don't know. It just it didn't sit right with me. He's too homicidal, too murderous. I don't know. Maybe that was it. I don't know because I'm like, it's like you serious, but like, like you too serious, you know? Man, he freaking like, he killed a lot of people. <laughs> I don't know. It was just something about that one that didn't that didn't hit for me. But I'm usually here for all of the Batmans. Now this this crazy heifer here. Yeah. Uh, who let her out of uh, Arkham, or did she walk out? Because I yo, don't yo. feel like she <laughs> is wrapped too tight, and I feel like she still needs a little bit more treatment. Because who told you you was healed? Did they was, was the room too filled and they just needed to make some extra room? Or my thing is like, why folks be walking up by the Arkham after the catching bodies? Like she clearly hung people. Like they reference her hanging people. So it's like you done kill some people. How you just walk up by the Arkham? Like what kind of citizen they be getting? Like fifteen years? I mean, like five <laughs> years for for a hanging death? What the hell? Like. You committed murder via hanging. They give you five years. <laughs> I don't like. Maybe it was just uh, if they let her out to put in somebody worse than her, then what did they do in order for her to be able to walk? Oh, and, and they it's, take Gotham. it's Gotham. You already know it's, it's way worse than her. <laughs> <laughs> Cause Gotham just at this point, why? Would you want to even live in Gotham at this you, point? You Why are y'all there? Who who want to live there? And got there, yeah, exactly. it, it ain't no reason to be there. I ain't I, I, I it ain't enough rep rep your city for me to stay in Gotham <laughs> at this point. I'm going across the, the bridge, I'm going to Metropolis because Superman right. apparently got everything on lock and it ain't that bad. At this point, I'm even going to Smallville. Nah. Anything is better. <laughs> I mean, the trouble be getting attacked by giant robots and shit. So you know, you gotta pick your poison. You want to get your car thrown at a at a giant robot man, or you you want to get mugged leaving leaving the uh, the, the, the your job at night in, in in Gotham. You know what I'm saying? Pick your poison. <laughs> I feel like you can't even go. Out. I feel like Gotham is dark twenty four seven. Like the sun don't even come out. That's just how much. <laughs> Gotham like does. the sun just skip over Gotham. Like we just like y'all gonna do the crime in the day or the nighttime, so it, it don't even matter at this point. You know, the Gotham got a London hue. You know what I'm saying? You know you watching those BBC TV shows? They have that weird ass filter. <laughs> That's what Gotham looks like. I guess constantly foggy or some shit. But yeah, I mean, you know what though? I, I was thinking because it's uh there's a a comic book where like um. Uh, there's a really, really harsh winter in Gotham. I think they're leaning toward it because winter, winter is coming. And they got all that flooding and shit everywhere. It's going to be nothing but ice. Which, I mean... You, come on, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> we pulling it in there. <laughs> Real quick, uh, before we finish our discussion of episode one and our theories uh, for the Penguin, uh, I want to make sure... Make sure to let you all know to hit that like button to increase our engagement and to uh, hit subscribe. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. That puts us in the algorithm so that we can keep being seen and cre keep uh, creating content and be out here hanging with you all. And of course, there is the channel membership, exclusive content. There are some things that we can't say in the public or we be banned. So there's some things behind the paywall. There are short films that are not released to the public. 
There is a blog about my ADHD that is behind the paywall. Our Five Minute Fridays are behind the paywall. Our blockbuster movie nights are behind the paywall. So there's a lot of content that are just, that's just for members only that is not public content so that we have a safe space, a comfortable space to get to know each other. And y'all get to know more of us personally. So hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video, share, comment, let us know what are your thoughts on the Penguin thus far. Are you looking forward to the season? Are you a Batman fan like me? And for those of you who have already joined the membership, I just want to say thank you. Really quick, like before we continue. I'm gonna be Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. continue with this uh discussion because we, we got a little bit more left to talk about to hit y'all with here with the penguin and again shout out to the channel members thus far and all the people who have su subscribed to the channel uh we appreciate you salvador maroni yeah that's this is this is such a dope setup yo when he gave him the ring i knew what time it was <laughs> i knew he was gonna put the body on him <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't know how he was gonna do it. But when he gave him the ring, I'm like, "Yo, that's that's the setup right there." But like, it's crazy how much of a dual like strategist he was with that. Cause the ring got him an end with the Maronis. Cause the dude didn't want nothing to do with uh Cobb at all till he showed him the ring. So they they got him on the inside track with them as far as this drug shipment is supposed to be coming in. At the same time, it frames them. For the murder of Alberto, so it's like bro, bro playing chess out here. Like <laughs> he's so far ahead of people, like right now, and and it's all off 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 a whim because you know killing Alberto like that wasn't planned. So it's like boom, we killed him, and boom, now he's coming up with shit to get to get up out of it. You know what I'm saying? He's doing it so so smooth, like but he's such a he's so conniving. That that's the reason why I got uh, like a. Uh, uh, hesitation about Vic because it's like I think mm. Vic died at the end man because because <laughs> freaking Penguin is just too conniving and he's too fast with it you know what I'm saying unless Vic picks some stuff up along the way and see it coming you know but and watch you back out here in these streets oh yeah oh yeah but this trust nobody boy, whose feet look like that this Maroni and the Falcons the my war whatnot yeah like that's it's it's such a good setup setup for him to just walk in when they kill each other and take over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's gonna walk cobble pie in this walk. I almost cut the episode off when they showed me his feet. I don't know about you, but I, I, I almost, <laughs> if I knew where my remote was at at the time, I'd have been like, "This is not the direction that I had planned to see in this." Movie. I already we already know he wobbling out here. Y'all ain't have to show me them feet in <laughs> in four K. Yeah. He got a psychological thing about that too, because you remember when he went went on the train, he refused to sit in the um handicap spot on the train. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like he takes that train on, on a regular basis. He never sits there. Homie got some hangups about like his his own like you know disabilities and whatnot. Okay, he got to fix that because we ain't here for it. Okay. And 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 uh an old girl that he hanging out with, he need to pay her more to, to do whatever she, she <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think that she's getting paid enough to do whatever the duty duties is that she has to do. Because that is what I see in the feet. He might be in danger though, because like he didn't drop that he was with her to two different people, you know what I'm saying. And I, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they emphasize him t saying her name to Sophia. He told Sophia he was with Eve. 
And it's like, I feel like that drop was like the setup for us to get to Eve, you know, getting killed at some point in time. Mm, I see, I didn't think about that. But again, I don't trust nobody around him. But what I am looking forward to, I need a series that is going to that's not afraid to kill people off. Okay, everybody don't have to make it to the end. I mean, you don't I all have to make it. Is, I think this is it. Ain't this ain't this ready M? Uh, ready M A mature or whatever. I think yes. So y'all can take a few people out. It's it okay. Really we, we can we can do that. Uh Tom, she don't movie, have to go. The movie was PG 13. Oh. <laughs> yeah. mm. Yeah. That's weird. Well, so like is the next movie gonna be PG 13? <laughs> um, you know, well, nice upgrade. No, we, let's keep it moving up. Okay? I know, right? It's okay. It, we're in Gotham. We need to see. The corruption that's going on here. Let's not sugarcoat it, okay? We've had enough sugarcoating on the TV. Let's get down then in the gutter and in the grunge with these people and show us what's really going on here. So I'm glad some people can get popped and keep, and, and get drunk oh, yeah. in here. We need that. We are talking yeah. about uh the mob here. Uh, what, dropped, what do you think is gonna Alberto. happen? You mm -hmm. dropped Alberto in, in in the first five minutes. <laughs> oh, we, we already know what's going down. So how do you feel about? Where where does where this going? Where's the series going? Um, I do. I mean, we're heading towards this mob war and and, and penguin taking over. I don't think it's going to be that that simple. But you know, in the beginning, when he was talking to uh, Alberto, he was talking about a guy from his hood that um was respected by all the people, and you know, when he died, it threw a parade for him. Like that's what Cobb, that's what Cobb Oz Cobb wants. You know, he wants that. That's his dream. And um, it's also the reason why he shot Alberto, because he laughed at, at, he laughs at his dream. <laughs> but um, I really think, like, that's the angle. Like, he wants to be respected. He wants to be loved by the city. He wants to be that guy that he can look up to. And, like, I just, because uh, the Penguin is such a tragic character, I don't see that happening. I see him going in that direction and then, you know, the shit hit the fan and everything falls apart and, you know, he's back to his old murderous ways type of thing, you know, but I, he, he, he does, he, he wants to be the man. He wants to be respected. He wants to be loved, but they're, they're never going to give him what he wants. He's too much of a bad person. <laughs> we ain't got to get him a top hat and a pocket watch. And maybe Man, look presentable out here in these streets, okay? You he gotta just, get him an umbrella that shoots gas and flies. <laughs> <laughs> they they're never gonna do that, yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, look, we need to mix mix some of the darkness with some of the fantastical stuff. Let's 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 get in there and go all the way. I mean, sell, sell it to me, okay? I want to see him go all the way, him and Vic. Let's let's do some upgrades. Let's see if they want to keep it on the street level. They might not give us all of that. What do you think is going to become of Vic? Do you think that he is going to like this criminal path? How do you think his friends are going to feel like seeing him, like the guy they were trying to like rob, like like you hanging out with 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 Buddy I don't now? Even, I don't like, even think his to friends are going to show up again because they already just shot one of them. <laughs> <laughs> they shot Buddy in the instant. But now nah, I don't think his homie is gonna show up again. But I, I, I feel like he's gonna, he's gonna learn the game. He's gonna learn the game from from the penguin, and and then he's gonna be a threat because he knows the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, Do you I feel, feel like, like gonna they're gonna a... give us some more villains. Like, like who, who would you want to see? If any, if they put somebody in here, who, who, who would you want to see? Oh man, uh, with this world. Uh, Hush, I, I like to see Hush because I, I mean, he, he's on a similar pathway as like Victor's ass with the whole serial killer thing and whatnot. But, um, that would be that would be cool. Um, I don't like to see like Deathstroke, you know, because you have these two mafia families fighting each other, and it has to be higher soldiers, higher guns. You know, Deathstroke is a bounty, is a mercenary. Um, and you know he's he's more on along the the fantastical lines as well. He's a super soldier. He has Captain America's esque powers. Um, 
I think we could get a scarecrow. Scarecrow would be dope. I'm tired of him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what I really want, and it just it doesn't fit in this universe, but I want Clayface. Like Batman fans didn't want Clayface on the big screen, on any screen, live action for the longest. If freaking Spider Man can have Sandman two times, <laughs> yeah, have Sandman. We can have a freaking Clayface. You know what no, I'm saying? Like, y'all gonna get King Shark. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. King Shark is a shark. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like, I mean, they had already introduced Joker at the end of the new end credit scene for the movie. Mm-hmm. He's already in Arkham. Um, so you know, and I'm pretty sure. I mean, there ain't no Harvey Dent yet, so I don't know about Two Face. He had to go through the whole being a DA, and then you know. The mob messing them up, and you know half his face is trash. Um, I, I really just want Clayface to be honest. <laughs> like Clayface is that dude, and he just stopped messing with us and give us Clayface, man. They put Killer Croc in fucking Suicide Squad. Come on, man. That's <laughs> Killer Croc. <laughs> 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 it was no, just going for the mal- most outlandish people in Suicide Squad. Let's just get Bane would fit too. Though. <laughs> Bane, like Bane would fit, and that, that's what I was saying about the the, mm-hmm. the, uh, the drug shipment coming in. My mm. hypothesis right now is that the drug they're talking about is venom, which is the drug that Bane uses the you know the juice up. And if they're going that route, they're talking about people with powers at this point. You know what I'm saying? So. That takes them a little bit away from the ground, it more towards the comics, and I'm hoping they're doing that. That's why I'm I, I, either is that, or if it's not that, I'm hoping it's like the Joker toxin, the Ace Chemical toxin. You know, Joker has the little, you know, make everybody laugh to death shit. One of those two. If it's not those, any one of those two, then it's gonna be some grounded shit. But it's all good. It's not a bad series, but I I want it to be a little more towards the fantastical. Well, y'all let us know in the comment section uh, what, what are your theories this season? I want to know. And is it enough to keep you watching? Would you want to see more? What villains do you want to see in the series? And do you want Batman to make an appearance? How do y'all even oh, feel God. about Robert, uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman? Some of y'all is out here hating. Okay, I'm here for Robert. Rob P. Yeah, I'm here. Twilight. I mean, y'all be hating. <laughs> I like Batman. So what do y'all even feel about his Batman and would you want to see him in a series? And do you think that this is going to be Vic's villain origin story? And if so, what villain? I didn't gave you my theories. I want to hear your theories down in the comments. Again, thank you all for watching. And we will see you all again in the next video. And stick around for just a couple more seconds to see our lineup for the rest of the week. We got a lot of stuff going on. I'm live back every day. So um, I'm going to break you all real quick with what's coming up next. Oh, 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 oh,